Hey, what's up? In this video, I figured I'm gonna share with you what I travel with to reduce my waste. If you're not familiar with my channel, then you probably don't notice if you're, then you're aware. I'm currently traveling all of 2018 and beyond, and I travel with only a 40 liter backpack. So everything that I currently have, well, actually I got a few things. So now I do need my small backpack to fit a handful of other things in. For the majority of the trip though, everything fit into my 40 liter backpack and that's how I travel. I travel fairly light. I've made a video about what I travel with that you can check out. And this video is all about those items that I take with me to just reduce my waste and my impact. And I'm gonna quickly talk you through them. Now the first item that I'm gonna talk about is my water bottle. I've had this water bottle for probably two years now. Yeah, that sounds about right. It has a couple dents at the bottom because I accidentally dropped it. Other than that though, I've got no issues with it. It's dirty right now. Yeah, 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 it's dirty. I definitely need to clean it. It's great for traveling because whenever I go somewhere, I ask for water. And this is not always a question that's received with kindness because in countries where you are unable to drink the tap water, or let me put it this way, where you really shouldn't drink the tap water, restaurants are oftentimes reluctant to give out water to customers. At least that's my experience. However, I always make it a point to ask and so far I've had no issues and I've always been given water in this beautiful water bottle. I don't recommend any water bottle in particular, this is just the one that I've used for years and that I really love. Next up, and this is a new addition, are my travel chopsticks. These are made out of stainless steel. I bought them in China where chopsticks were abundant. I believe this particular pair of chopsticks was 50 cents. They were just everywhere and I really really enjoy them. I love eating with chopsticks. It's just a totally different experience and for certain meals, especially rice dishes, but also noodle dishes, I just really enjoy eating with chopsticks and that's why I bought them. They take a very little space. They are, although they are made out of stainless steel, fairly lightweight and I just really enjoy them. The next item you are probably familiar with, and that's my spork. This is a spork, and it's called a spork because it's a spoon and a fork in one. As you can see, it folds up really nicely. I take this one with me wherever I go. I think it's super neat, especially in the summer when I eat a lot of fruit, especially watermelon when I was in Thailand. Earlier this year, I ate a lot of watermelon because watermelon is local there, it's abundant, it's fairly inexpensive, and this one really came in handy. A new addition that I shared with you on Instagram is this container. Now, I do have a container, I just don't happen to have it with me. I didn't bring it on this trip. And then I was in South Korea where containers like this can be found everywhere and they're usually really cute. And there were several occasions where I figured it would be neat to have a container now. And then I finally decided to get one. I was really just hesitant because of the weight, because yes, it is fairly heavy, and also because of the amount of space that it takes up. That being said, I've used it a ton since. I got dumplings with it in Taiwan. I use it for leftovers whenever I'm staying somewhere for a little longer. I just freaking love it. So yes, if you travel for a longer period of time, and even if you just go away for a week or two, definitely bring a container. Next up is my hanky. Now my hanky is currently in this cotton pouch. I need to wash it and that's actually how I keep it in my backpack to prevent it from getting ridiculously dirty. I only have one hanky because I'm traveling, so I don't have a stash of hankies. It would simply be impractical. I wash my hanky whenever it needs washing. And to my surprise, I've actually gotten a lot of crap on YouTube for using a hanky. 
my granddad uses a hanky. I don't think he's ever used disposable paper tissues. And he seems pretty fine. He's soon gonna be 90, so I love using hankies. And I don't think there's a reason for paper tissues. Although, of course, if you don't have access to running water, if you are unable to clean your hanky on a regular basis, then of course, paper tissues, I'm sure, have their place. However, generally speaking, and for everyone watching this, you probably have access to running water and you will probably be able to take care of a hanky. If you don't have one, try it. I freaking love it. Next up are these produce bags. I recently purchased these online. I had them shipped to a relative in the States. She then visited me and brought them to me. reason for that is that, as I said, I've been traveling all of 2018 and I'm simply usually nowhere long enough to receive an online order or I am somewhere where the company that I would like to buy from simply doesn't ship to or shipping rates are too expensive. I purchased smaller bags like this one this is actually part of a set i purchased these tiny bags in india and then i quickly realized that they're just way too small for my regular produce purchases and that's why i got these i got six of them and this one is size i think this one is a large i believe this one is a large i got three in large and three in medium let me quickly show you the medium do I have one here? Yes. Oops. Well, it looks a little rough right now. This one is a medium. Let me open it up. This one is a medium and I really like these particular bags. I use them for grocery shopping. I use them to store bread sometimes. I just use them for lots of different things and I find them really, really neat. And it just helps me with avoiding plastic bags, especially when there's a language barrier. Because whenever there's a language barrier and you're trying to convey that you don't want a plastic bag, sometimes it happens so quickly that there's just no way that you're not gonna end up with a plastic bag. And by bringing reusable bags, you are able to convey what it is that you want to happen as in you don't want a plastic bag without saying anything and that has been really really neat and lastly my shopping tote i've shared this in a previous video this is the chico grocery shopping bag it actually developed holes and so i stitched it which is shared on instagram i simply fixed it up and now it's beautiful again I use this tote wherever I go. It folds up really small and I use it whenever I go grocery shopping. I also use it when I'm traveling from one place to the other and I happen to travel with some sort of leftovers, oats, fruit, I don't know. You get the idea. That being said, I wouldn't fly this way. When I say traveling from one place to the other, then I mean usually by bus because on the bus it doesn't really matter how many bags you have, how much stuff you have, how much your stuff weighs, it's just a lot easier. So when I'm on the bus, then this one usually also comes in handy. This was it for everything that I've got with me to reduce my waste. And I've now adapted the term minimal waste. I like it much better than zero waste or less waste, minimal waste. Let me know what you tend to travel with that you wouldn't want to travel without. For me, it's definitely my shopping tote and my water bottle. Those are just essentials to me. I drink a lot of water, so my water bottle would be the number one item that I always take with me, no matter where I'm going. Even if I'm just leaving the house for 30 minutes, I have my water bottle with me. That was it for me. Have a lovely day and see you next time. Bye!